All eyes are back on Egypt at this hour, where hundreds of thousands, if not millions of protesters are taking to the streets, many of them demanding that President Mohamed Morsi resign. These are pictures now of Egypt's Tahrir Square. We'll get that to you in just a second. But we've seen the crowd growing not only bigger, uh, but more uh, enthusiastic. CCTV's Adel Al Maruki joins us now live uh, with that part of the story. Egypt is shaking. Hundreds of thousands took the streets in Tahrir, the presidential palace, and all over the country, demanding the president to step down. An evident spirit of solidarity spread on June 30th, whether at President Morsi's opponents or his proponents. But when they met together, it was bloody. There was a rally after sunset, and young people started throwing bombs into the headquarters. Crossfiring began between both of them, and in less than 12 hours, we had five fatalities, all from penetrating ammunition. At least 16 dead and around 1,000 wounded in the deadliest clashes Egypt witnessed in months. Eight alone were at the Muslim Brotherhood's headquarters. The headquarters was like a fortress under threat of an invasion. It was then attacked. Opponents nearly killed one of the Brotherhood members and turned the rest to the police. The content of the building was stolen in the absence of security forces. The clashes began at night and many were killed and we called the army and the police, but no one came until now. They say the army is with us and the police supports us, but they all left as you can see. We will continue. People died today, but we will not let it go. The clashes in the streets fueled another political battle. With the escalation of violence, eight members of parliament resigned and a total of 50 are considering to do the same. But while a political solution is stalled, the country is threatened by more bloodshed. Adel Mahri, CCTV, Cairo.